Today on Earth Focus, solutions from Africa. Planting speckboom, a South African succulent that absorbs huge quantities of carbon dioxide, is creating jobs and helping check climate change. Correspondent Jeff Barbie reports, coming up on Earth Focus. In the dramatic valleys of the Bavians Kloof Mountains in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, climate change is a reality. The whole Southern African region is warming up and drying out. And according to the best scientific data, this trend will become much worse if nothing is done. Over the last 20 years, there was a lot of changes, which I actually could pick up from an environmental point of view. Uh, I saw a lot of erosion in the area, as well as uh, a drop in the groundwater table. And also, from a, from a farming point of view, we had less water available for irrigation. Here, environmental destruction is compounding the effects of global climate change. But people are adapting by finding ways to restore the natural landscape. Like a green skin covering bones and muscle, speckbuum thicket used to shelter this desert land from the harsh sun and violent storms. Its protective boughs and roots held 60% of the rain that fell and released it slowly like a sponge throughout the year. That skin, like you can see here on the left of the fence line, has been stripped bare by overgrazing. Now water rushes off the bare soil in torrents causing floods. Once the rain stops, the land quickly dries, making the area prone to drought and heat waves. More than 800,000 hectares of speckworm thicket has been severely degraded, with disastrous effects for farmers in the city of Port Elizabeth, which relies upon it for water. Now, the national government, with the help of nonprofits, businesses, and local residents, has launched a big project called Working for Water to help bring the speckworm back. Renette Kolsky is the administrator of the Hamtuas Irrigation Board, which manages the water here and implements the project in the Baviansklof. That, that project focuses on re restoration on speckboom in the uh, speckboom biome. Pla planting speckboom um, restores the natural vegetation, so it increases the water retention of the earth. Yeah, and, and, and that, of course, is, is very good for restoring your water. But speckboom has another remarkable trait. It sequesters carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, keeping CO2 levels in check and slowing climate change. That's how those involved hope to make speckboom pay for its own restoration. The point where to begin is to plant speckboom. There's a future in it because if we can get payment for carbon credits, it will help the farmers to actually replace the income from farming from, with animals with is something else, which are more sustainable in the long run. Mm. Right now, the project is supported by the South African government, who are focusing on a more immediate goal, reducing poverty. South Africa's unemployment rate is officially 25%, but here it is as much as 50% or higher. Water shortages have reduced agricultural output and the jobs that depend on it. But planting vast areas of land with speckboom requires lots of workers like team leader Joanna Schwartz, who was unemployed before the project began. There's a great change in my life because all the things that I need and I cannot buy before, I can buy it now. I don't struggle with money anymore. There's opportunities that I want to grab to things that I love. The project has provided jobs to thousands like her, and she says it offers a chance to see her children grow up with more advantages than she had. Uh, my eldest daughter is taking tourist as a subject at school, and I like her to also to come and work for Parksport or maybe Loving Lanes one day. <laughs> Living Lands is the local organization that brought farmers, poor residents, private business, and the government together under an umbrella group called Presence. We facilitate the process towards our goal, and that is a sustainable land use. It all started with um, research done for uh, how to plant speckboom, and that involved in this process where you have to look at the whole broader integrated way. It's not only about planting speckboom, it is about 
re restoring the rivers, it's restoring the allu alluvial fen on which we are sitting here now. But it's also restoring the mindset of everybody with a stake on the landscape. The community has come together in a cohesive group to change the way they utilize their natural resources. And in that way, this little corner of South Africa may be a model for a warming world. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.